Today, I'm excited to talk to you about how to read a scientific textbook. This is something that I've learned over the years and also based upon literature and um, studies looking at how students actually learn. So I've culled together a, a list that has several steps, but as you begin to put this into practice, it will become second nature. So the very first step that I would recommend is to determine the length of your actual study time. I would recommend limiting this somewhere between 30 and 60 minutes. Even though you might have a whole evening and you could set aside technically three hours, that will not be productive. As a starting point, I would highly recommend limiting that time frame to 30 minutes. The second step before you actually begin to study is to set your mind. Studies have indicated that a growth mindset, recognizing that you are fully capable of learning the content at hand, is incredibly empowering and will really differentiate between your ability to learn that material or not learn that material. So go ahead and set your mind on the fact that you are capable and able. The second part of setting your mind, I would say, is having um, an, actually being fully mindful. So be fully present and don't be distracted by other things going on um, in your surrounding environment. That being said, my third step is actually to remove those distractions. Either set some white noise in the room, such as a fan or classical music, um, but try to remove all those um, distractions that might lead you astray. The fourth step is to actually determine your goal. So I would recommend spending a minute or two determining what am I actually going to study in my textbook. I usually recommend picking just one section of your reading. So if, for example, you've been assigned three sections in your textbook, just pick one of those at a time and spend the 30 to 60 minutes focusing on that one section. So the, the next step I recommend is to set a timer. And this is called the Pomodoro method. And I literally will pull out my phone and set it for 25 minutes. My kids even do this. We call it our 25-5 plan. So you will study for 25 minutes and then you take a five minute break. If your studies are going really well and you're learning a lot of information, then I would recommend going ahead and setting it for 50 minutes and then taking a 10 minute break at the end of that. All right, so then the next step is to go ahead and outline what you're about to read. So at this point, I get out a clean piece of paper and I get out my pens. I like lots of pens, so you can see I've got a whole host of pens. This brings me great comfort. And I will go ahead and start to outline the textbook. So if I'm just doing one particular section, I'll go ahead and write out what's the title of the chapter and what are the sections that I'm about to study. After this, what I would recommend is to um, embrace this process of metacognition. So this is basically asking yourself, why am I studying this? So don't get too philosophical, but look at what came before, look at what's lying ahead, and recognize that this particular part of the chapter has been assigned to you. Why was it assigned to you? How does what I'm about to study fit into the context of the whole class? And again, I would spend basically one minute doing that process. All right, so now we're actually going to begin to read the textbook. So go ahead and read through your textbook. For instance, this particular section that I'm looking at is only two pages long. So I'm gonna spend the next 10 to 15 minutes and actually carefully read the text. I personally love to read with a ruler. Um, it kind of keeps things neat and tidy. A lot of students love to use highlighters. Whatever makes you happy and brings you joy, um, and, and you're gonna carefully cull through that information. All right, the next step, my step number nine, is to go ahead and carefully make your study guide and or note cards. So for instance, for in this particular portion of the reading, there is a whole table with um, some important structures that I actually should memorize. So I would go ahead and get out my three by five note cards, or you can do this on Quizlet, and physically make those note cards. There's a lot of learning that takes place when you're physically writing something down. I also like to go ahead and fill out a, a, a study guide. So I will begin to write out and fill out that outline that I had already begun, and I'd write out all my content there as I'm reading along. All right, after that portion of, of learning, what you're gonna do is take a minute and go ahead and write a summary sentence at the top of your textbook of what you just learned. 
This really forces you again to be fully mindful and aware of what this content is. How do I put this content back into the context of this class? All right, and then after this point, if you still got some time on your timer, I would then recommend going ahead and starting to memorize your note cards, looking back over your notes and seeing if it all made sense. Okay. At this point, I presume your timer's gonna go off, your 25 minutes is up or your 50 minutes is up, and I highly recommend taking a proper break. So this is when I would go get a latte, or you can go walk around outside, get some fresh air, talk to your friends. Now's the time to go ahead and look at Instagram or whatever on your phone, but get up and move around for 10 minutes. Okay, now is the most important step. After that five to 10 minute break, and you really don't wanna get distracted, don't be gone for an hour, but go ahead, five to 10 minutes later, you're gonna come back, and now you're gonna review the material for just five minutes. This really seals all that learning that you've just participated in. So now is when I would recommend looking in your textbook, there's always questions that are come at the end of a particular section. Go ahead and answer those those questions or go to the end of your chapter. There's a whole series of questions that are there as well. And go ahead and answer those. Oftentimes students don't actually do that. Um, sometimes there'll be concept check questions that are really hard and challenging. Um, go ahead, cover up the answer. Tr force yourself to answer it on your own. So those are my key steps on how to properly read a scientific textbook. I hope that will make your study time much more fruitful and that that um, learning will be revealed fully um, on your exams and the content that you turn in. I wish you all the best.